everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my May favorites. That pillow is like a crooked. Hold on, let me fix that. It's kind of annoying. Any hoosies, today's video is going to be my May favorites. All of my favorite beauty products from the month of May. I am drinking an iced matcha. I'm so excited for today's video because I have a lot of good products. And yeah, if you guys been watching my channel, you guys know how these videos work. I'm just gonna shut up and we're going to get into the video. But before we do, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in my description box, I have listed a 10% off code for my favorite blue light glasses, which are these ones right here. These are the Samson glasses, the pink Samson glasses from Opticals Online. It looks like this, I'm trying not to blind you. It is so cute and I am somebody, if you guys have watched my channel, like past Amazon favorites videos or you know, like my home office setup tour, I always tell you guys that I love blue light glasses. I literally do not work a day in my life without blue light glasses. And I love these because they're so lightweight. These are seriously, I'm not even lying, the most, I'm sorry, the, the ring lights right there. The most comfortable blue light glasses I have ever tried on because they have the nose pads. So they're very supportive, especially if you have like a wide Asian nose like I do, they don't like fall on your face. They sit nice and upright. And I love this style. They have so many different styles, so many different colors to choose from, but I love these because they're pink and they're so cute. Like, I don't know, it just makes you look like more put together. And I love blue light glasses, especially for like Zoom or Teams meetings where you're on video camera and you don't wanna put on any makeup. You just throw on glasses and it's it's all good. Um, but yeah, I love blue light glasses because they help reduce the strain. Um, on your eyes and your head from looking at a monitor all day so they're great even if you don't like have a desk job and you're constantly watching youtube or you're on your computer screens blue light is everywhere around us and whether or not you believe in it or you think it's a gimmick in my opinion it's like one of those things where it's like better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it and i love having these my optometrist even told me like hey i would advise you getting blue light glasses because i don't think my particular contact lenses have blue light protection built into them so yeah i love these i just pop them on if you wear contacts you can just throw it right on top it's not going to alter your prescription at all it's just going to give you that nice shield and i also love opticals online because they also donate a portion to charity every time you purchase a pair so it's a nice social responsible business this is not sponsored I just wanted to let you guys know that I love these I shared them on my Instagram stories a few weeks ago I just want to show you guys on camera and my May favorites because it really has been an every single day favorite of mine um, and you can use my code Ashley B Wong at checkout for 10% off it is an affiliate code so if you do make a purchase with my code I do get a little bit of money as a commission so I appreciate your support in advance so thank you so much but yeah I just want to mention these because these are definitely my top favorite of the entire month okay let's move on to something like body-esque this is the truly anti-cellulite resurfacing body serum this is so good I love the bottle first of all truly packaging is just really really nice um they have so many different ones like the acai your boobies buns of glory they have really the most beautiful packaging it just makes you want to display it on your vanity and honestly i have this displayed on my little like cylindrical perfume shelf which i gave you a tour of and i talked about my perfumes i will link that video down below and i really do like this product because it claims it's smoothing and tightening it has orange flower retinol apricot vegan collagen and aloe it's vegan cruelty free um you know made in the usa harsh chemical free you can get truly products at ulta and they are definitely a little bit pricier but first of all the packaging i think in and of itself warrants that but i do like this formula i use it honestly on my stomach area right here where i have like some stretch marks i also use them on my thighs anywhere you want it has a retinol which helps to like smooth and tighten i believe um it's not one of those things that you see like an overnight difference but if you use it every single day which i have been doing for the most part um i definitely do see a difference and you know it's hot girl summer it's bikini season all bodies are beautiful but if you're looking for something to just tone up a little bit on your end i do like this serum and yeah i like truly okay next up let's talk about a perfume this perfume has definitely been my number one favorite of the entire month of may this is ariana grande thank you next and i've mentioned a couple times before that moonlight is my favorite ariana grande perfume but this one is so good this smells like summer it's straight up summer yes ariana grande's fragrances tend to be on the more gourmand like sweet young side it's not like a mature or sexy scent by any means but i kind of like that about her fragrances because all of them that i've tried have all been really really nice and you know yes young but very like like comforting and very um just nice to wear they're very pleasant it's not like a scent that you have to get accustomed to they're very like friendly and accessible it's kind of like how i feel about them in my mind i spoke about this in my perfume collection video but i just wanted to briefly mention it again i will leave the notes for you on the screen it's fruity coconut and people had said online that this smells like pickles and i don't i personally don't see that but 
regardless this is a really beautiful scent for summer very fun fresh and like sunny without being like sunscreen like and beach this is not sunscreen and beach this is like fruity coconut like laying by the pool it's 100 degrees outside but this perfume is just gonna lift your spirits on that day okay should we talk about a couple of makeup items i need to give a shout out to this right here this is the elf mint melt cooling face primer this has such a similar consistency to the milk hydro grip and i don't know if it's honestly a coincidence that these are both green but let me do one pump of this on my hand and show you so this is the elf mint melt it's what i'm wearing on my face today underneath my foundation and then this is the milk hydro grip they look so similar, don't they? This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt. It's one of those like serum primers. This is the, sorry, this has like the milk one had like some dried up stuff. The milk one definitely feels a little bit thicker and definitely tackier. The Mint Melt is definitely a little bit thinner in consistency, but they both still do give you that nice tack to your skin where after a few seconds, you kind of let it dry and it becomes like, like super glue for your makeup. And they kind of do feel the same, like in the way that they're cooling, but this is honestly, I think the best dupe color wise, consistency wise, texture wise. It even suggests to wait 30 seconds before you apply your makeup and with clean fingers to pat the product into your skin. And I agree with that because this is more of a theramy sticky primer, the warmth of your fingers as you massage it into your skin is gonna really help the product just like blend into your skin as best as possible. So I really do enjoy this and it's $6 or is it $8? It's six or $8, very affordable, under 10. You can get it at like any drugstore or like CVS or Target or Walmart. I got mine at Walmart and I think it's so perfect for the summer because it gives you that nice cooling consistency when you apply it to your face, perfect for hot days, but it also helps adhere your makeup so that when you're sweating and stuff out in the sun, it makes your makeup stay on like as best as possible, which is also great for hot days. So yes, this is definitely going to be my go-to summer primer. I love the tube. I love how, you know, like travel friendly it is. So yeah. So next up we have the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is something that I have been using when I've been applying like more yellow based foundation. My Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation is definitely more yellow. My e.l.f. Um, camo CC cream is definitely more yellow. I have a lot of foundations that are definitely leaning on the more warm yellow side and I have just been busting them out again because of this guy. This is under $10. Ellie Girl has a bunch of mixing pigments and I love this so much because you can really just change any foundation. Like you don't have to worry about that harsh line, the demarcation, how like the contrast between like, your foundation and you know, your actual skin color. This helps make everything so good. They also do have like a yellow pigment, I believe that makes foundations warmer. If you're having the inverse problem where your existing foundation shade is too cool and you need to make it warmer, they have other shades, but I really do like this. I just pump one to two pumps, depending on how yellow my foundation shade is and then mix it in. And honestly, it just blends in like nothing. You don't see the blue once you blend it all over your face into your skin it just really is a lovely lovely product one hour later hey hello everybody i'm back i actually just stopped to go eat because i hadn't eaten breakfast yet and it's like noon anyway let's move on to my next favorite makeup product this is probably okay so my blue light glasses are my number one favorite i have a cleanser i'm going to talk about which is my number two favorite this is my number three favorite out of all of my main favorites this is the wet and wild photo focus translucent loose setting powder and honestly out of all the times I've applied makeup this month, this has been the one I've used nine times out of 10. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. It's what I use in my Get Ready With Me, my last Get Ready With Me. I don't like how big it is because it is quite bulky, but I love that it's just such a nice loose powder. Like it's a nice translucent shade. I don't notice any flashback really when I use this. This just makes your skin feel so smooth and so like poreless and airbrushed. Like truly, this is one of the most more blurring smoothing powders ever. And I know you may think like, oh, it's just a loose powder, but that's exactly it. It does everything a loose powder is supposed to do. And it's so affordable. It's like $6. It's what I have on my skin today. And it just makes everything just look so matte, so smooth. It definitely is a mattifying powder, but it's not like bone dry. Like it just is like one of the best affordable powders I've ever used. It's part of their Photo Focus line, which if you guys are familiar with the Photo Focus foundation from Went Wild, that's a classic go-to of mine. And I feel like a classic product of their range in general. This is no different. It's so good. And then it brings me to my next favorite, which I've just been using in conjunction with this. This is a Velour Puff. A standard Velour Puff. I feel like I may have spoken about it before. My Amazon favorites. I personally got this in a pack of three like you can see this is the packaging it's the jolie powder puff for face and it's very simple it's just a standard go-to velour powder puff but what i love doing is i love taking this 
with this powder and just dabbing it in and just pressing it in to my skin this truly ensures that your makeup lasts as long as possible you get the most out of your makeup by really pressing in the loose powder to your face as opposed to just dusting it with a brush i have noticed such a difference myself between using this and using just a brush in the longevity of my makeup like i'll go out for a night if i just applied my powder with a brush it just kind of looks separated i get more creasing more fine lines you know my makeup breaks apart a little bit faster than as it does with this like i've tested this like girl night out went to the club the other night then i went to another club after that got home at 6 a.m i um you know I, I i'm enjoying my my last few nights out here while i live in vegas um but yeah it still looked perfect the next morning like i'm not even joking i was like oh my gosh and even when i took photos in the desert when it was so windy um my makeup still looked so intact so i truly believe this is a secret it's so amazing i would highly suggest trying applying your powder with a velour puff the next time you apply your makeup and you want it to look better and last longer speaking of another powder this is a milani cream to powder foundation this is like the drugstore kat von d good apple balm foundation dupe that they say although this is not as much coverage i have the shade 230 light beige it's what i'm wearing on my skin today you can see like it's one of those products where you dab your brush in like today for example i went in with my rare beauty foundation brush which is dab 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 and then go over because this is a cream to powder it feels very emollient on your skin but as you blend it out onto your skin it does turn into a powder now i still do for the most part if i'm going with a full face because i am going in several times doing several dips for um every portion of my face i will still set this with a powder on top because a i do have oily skin and b if i go in with a concealer on top that is still cream um so i do feel like i still need to set it anyway but that's not to say that cream products do not lay nicely on top of this just because it is a cream cream to powder the sooner the better for you to go in with your cream products after you apply this so that way it doesn't dry down as much but i do love the finish it's very very nice it's natural it's definitely buildable obviously you can dunk it as many times as you want it doesn't look cakey it's very natural medium to full coverage and i do enjoy it it's definitely not a super super heavy duty full coverage mask foundation i kind of like that about it because it definitely is buildable okay let's talk about like my last like true makeup product this is the nyx raven eyeshadow and this is like like my fourth favorite product out of the entire month of favorites it's just not that it really matters i love these all honestly that's why it's like hard for me to rank them but this is definitely something that i don't have anything else of in my collection so when i got this i was like yes this is just a simple single eyeshadow it's a black eyeshadow again it's in the shade raven it's what i have on my um upper lash line kind of smokes it out a little bit in my lower lash line and the reason why i got this in the first place was because i am somebody who when i do fast makeup whether it's for work or just going out or hanging out like what i'm doing today i like giving myself a little bit of definition um with a little bit of black shadow like right along my upper lash line so it's kind of like shadow liner i love that look because it just adds a little pop to your eyes um but i never had a previous single shadow and when i would travel or when i would you know i would have to bring palettes to have that black eye shadow but not no mo because i have this it's extremely pigmented too so i really do like that about this it stays on for a really nice amount of time it's just a great go-to essential for me and i love that i can just throw it in here with the rest of my single shadows and when i'm just wanting a quick makeup look it's chef's kiss okie dokie let's talk about a couple of skincare products this is my number two favorite product of the entire month and i apologize in advance it's not cruelty free i don't think but honestly guys like i was at the store i needed a new cleanser and i saw this and i was like okay i'm just gonna get this because um i, I need a new cleanser this is a CeraVe foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin this cleanses and removes oil without disrupting the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides niacinamide and hyaluronic acid and its oil control this has been my go-to nightly cleanser it is such a beautiful formula it starts out like a gel but like the name says it does turn into that nice foaming action and you do feel that nice clean like the niacinamide is an ingredient that um really helps to brighten pigmentation and just help dark spots i have the ordinary niacinamide serum that i've spoken about before this um is not comedogenic so it won't clog pores it's fragrance free it's formulated by uh sorry my friend destiny just texted me anyway it's fragrance free so you don't get irritation and i seriously have no noticed such a difference in using this and i know everybody on tiktok raves about cerave in general and this cleanser but honestly i can see why it really helps clean the skin i haven't really had any major breakouts at all since using this product my skin has looked the best it's looked really in a long time 
by using this cleanser and I'll either use it on my fingers or I'll use it on a pad or whatever it may be but it really does deep cleanse your skin now obviously I still am prone to hormonal breakouts but everywhere else on my face like has been pretty well behaved and I know a lot of my other skincare regimen is pretty disciplined so those products definitely have to give credit to where credit's due and for something else I'm going to talk about but this is a cleanser it's just so good and I should have gone the bigger size I wanted to get the smaller size this is the 8 ounce I think they have a 16 ounce but I'm moving soon and I just wanted to test it out but I also do love the packaging I love the little pump I love the sea foam it's my favorite color and I wanted to give it a shout out because if you are someone who is looking for a nice foaming facial cleanser that's non irritating that um, just is so gentle but does a job for oily skin this is it Okay, I also need to give a shout out to the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pad. Now, I've had these in my collection for about a year, but it wasn't until the past like couple months that I've really been using it, and you can see I'm almost done. This comes with 60 pads. I use this every other night. It does have some acids in it. It's resurfacing. It's a very effective yet gentle exfoliator, so I will use this as my toner every other day. Like, you know, I'll take, go out of the bath, do a face mask, and then I'll just tone with this. The pads um have like the texture side to them, like you can see, they're like textured on one side so it makes it like nice to just kind of get into like the grooves the grooves of your skin the pores of your skin and then it has a flat side as well i personally find that using one pad works really really well for me they're saturated enough with the product that they're not dry and i just do one over everything and honestly i feel like this has been my skin like cocktail like lately over the past month these two products really hand in hand like cleanse with this tone with this have been the best now obviously I still use my Kylie skin toner but that's like a nice milk toner but if you're looking for nice like exfoliating pads I would definitely recommend these because they're not harsh at all like you don't feel a burning sensation you just feel your skin like super clean and really fresh and rejuvenated afterwards okay I also need to talk about this because this is something that I've been using every single night um, while I'm on my couch I've mentioned before that in my apartment I have lip balms and lip treatments in like pretty much every corner slash crevice of my entire life like house and this is one of them i got this in a boxy charm a couple months ago but this is the cab lip oil in the scent blue raspberry and i love this because not only does it smell like blue raspberry this keeps your lips hydrated for so long like hours and lip oils tend to do that more than like balms because they are thicker stickery thicker sticker thicker stickier formula so they will obviously last longer on your lips but this is really really good the only thing i don't love is that it has mineral oil in it but i'm just someone who doesn't really like that ingredient but i've definitely become less adverse to it and i use products with it so it's fine um, especially if it's not going on my skin i don't mind it as much for my lips this has been a go-to of mine this past month okay last but not least since i'm not going to be doing a summer bath and body works haul for you guys i know i'm so sorry but i am moving like in a couple months but I've been buying candles like one off here and there and this has been my go-to scent of the entire month first of all I love this packaging this is Bath and Body Works rainbow confetti look how beautiful it's got that nice like matte like wrapping and a nice matte black lid this smells like fruity pebbles it's so good you guys know I live for like a cereal crusty gourmand scent where it's fruity and sweet but not overbearingly sickly sweet this is it right here. It smells like Fruity Pebbles. The notes in this are rainbow sprinkles, vanilla cake, buttercream frosting, and fruity cereal crunch. And that could not be more accurate. Like everything, all of those notes, like what you envision a candle to smell with all those notes is exactly how this smells. It's so good. The only con is that obviously it does not burn evenly at all. It's a very slow burning candle, but only pro to that is that obviously it'll last you longer. But the throw is great it's like an 8 out of 10 it's just been a go-to of mine I love it so much and um, I am loving this kind of like gourmand nighttime scent for me in the summer all right everybody and that was it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this roundup of my May favorites please let me know in the comments below what your May favorites are and I will check it out don't forget that you can use code Ashley B Wong at checkout for 10% off the best most socially responsible blue light glasses I love them and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and hopefully I will see you in my next one Mwah. bye